Well, hello and welcome to Bergland in Germany. I've been um, out and about with my friend. Um, I've got a friend that lives here. So he showed me around somewhere called Winnenden uh, the first day uh, when I arrived. It's a pretty little town. At the moment, everything's closed because it's, uh, it's like a sort of a bank holiday weekend. So um it's been that's why heidelberg was so manic and uh winnenden was just pretty much empty but uh that kind of suits me <laughs> a bit more than the chaoticness so um it was a good opportunity to sort of wander through the town and then we walked here yeah, a park really gorgeous park with uh like a million different trees that you wouldn't have um yeah just different trees um and we saw a red squirrel, so I was really chuffed. Um, never seen a red squirrel, not one so close, so I was um, yeah, really chuffed with that. And we used to get a little film, so um, if you watch uh, the video, I'll show you a little film. Uh, next day we went to, I don't know the name, it's, it begins with an E, it's something like Erslinger or something like that. I'll put the correct name in here, here. Um, and then that was really, really pretty as well, that was a bigger town uh, full of this like amazing German architecture. Bus just came to say hello. Um, with uh, really steep roofs and loads of like wooden bits. Um, what do you call those bits in the houses? Anyway, really, really pretty. You can see a picture. And then, and really lovely churches. Um, so we did that uh, on the motorbike. So uh, I've decided that I'm just too old now. For a motorbike, I had to. I had to keep telling him to stop the bike so I could get get off and like we crack my back into like a straight position. Um, so yeah, that was good. And then we went on to the Queen's tomb, um, like Queen Catherine, her name was, and um, I want to say King Wilhelm um, was so upset when his queen died that he destroyed, had his house knocked down, and. Um, built this tomb on the top of this hill. Really, really lovely viewpoints all the way around and um, and it's really nice with the vineyards. You wouldn't think, well, I didn't think of Germany as having vineyards, but um, yeah, good, good vineyards, good wine. Um, I actually really like the wine. I might go and get some from the supermarket later. And then we found a nice little cafe in the afternoon for um, cake and a hugo. Has anybody had a hugo? Hugo. Very nice. Um, sort of like a prosecco and elderflower and mint, I think, maybe. Anyway, very nice. And my hay fever has been absolutely, absolutely awful, awful here. Um, I've been non-stop sneezing the first day, at least. Like, I, this is the most I've been able to speak without sneezing for a long time, it feels like. 
Um, that's been really, really fun. Uh, so I don't know what's in the air here for the sneezing, but something's bad. Anyway, the next stop is Mimmingen. Um, Mim Mim um, I'll put the May here somewhere. Um, it's about two hours away, apparently. Unfortunately, I've had no time to do any drawing and painting between sort of going out and seeing places and the hay fever. I mean, honestly, yesterday morning I got up early to try and do some drawing and painting, but my eyes were glued together. Horrid. Anyway, so I'm, I haven't done any painting and drawing. I've got some ideas, though, that I'd like to sort of do to represent this portion of the trip. And I, when I get to the next place, um, it's a small little tiny little village, I think, walking distance. So I think I'm going to have some time to, to just to chill out and just do some painting. Okay, so um, I'll see you in a bit.